Hi, I'm Harm Ribier, software engineer at Data Access Europe, and today I'm going to build my bucket list. Our flagship product is Dataflex, an easy-to-learn programming language that you can use to easily transform your idea into a running web application. Today I'm going to show you how, by creating a bucket list you can access anytime. In this application you can add bucket list items. In these items you can add a specific date, an image or a description. To create an application like this in Dataflex you basically have to follow seven steps. The first thing we need to do is sketch the application. You know what kind of application you want to create, but how are you going to visualize it? What should the application look like and what is the most user-friendly environment? And what kind of database structure do you need to accomplish this? After having sketched the application, we create a new project environment using the Dataflex Studio. In Dataflex we call this a workspace, consisting of a set of folders in which the database and the source code are stored. Simply start the wizard by clicking the new workspace button and the wizard guides you through the process of creating a perfect workspace. After the workspace is created, the Dataflex Studio automatically opens the workspace dashboard. The dashboard is your guide through the whole development process. The red colored markers indicate a required action. The first action is to define the database by creating multiple tables. A table is created by entering its name, a list of the fields and their data types, and defining the indexes. After creating the table, relations between the tables are defined, when you work with multiple tables. The heart of every Dataflex application are the business rules. The rules you set here will propagate throughout the entire application. For example, I will make the title a required field. Now in the entire application, the user has to enter a title to the bucket list items. In the dashboard we can see that there are two red icons gone. We have created the tables and the data dictionaries are defined. But there is still one red, red icon left. Create a project. I want to be able to use the application everywhere, so I use the mobile web project. Again, a wizard starts and guides us through the steps we need to take. After finishing the wizard, we have created the basic elements for the application. Let's see how it looks by opening the preview. Alright, the basics are here. Now we can fill the application the way we want to. With a wizard, you generate the zoom view by choosing the items that you want to show. After generation, you can drag and drop items onto your application, like this file upload button, which will allow you to upload an image to your bucket list item. But you can also program controls yourself, like this calendar, to create the perfect application. To make the zoom view work, we also have to generate a select view with the wizard. You can select which fields you want to use and connect it to the zoom view. Now that we have followed the six steps, only the seventh step is left. Let's check if this application works inside a browser. Now that it runs, I'm going to add some of my bucket list items. As you can see, it works. I can create a bucket list item, add a specific date, an image and a description. Now you have an idea of how Dataflex works and how easily you can create a Dataflex application. You can also take a look at our quick start to get more detailed information about creating a Dataflex application in Dataflex. Thanks for watching. And we're done. Awesome.